if the tarot 888 this message is for aquarius now you can have aquarius anywhere in your chart sun moon rising venus anywhere in your chart in aquarius this message might resonate with you or maybe just peace take what does baby and send the rest to the universe let it be for someone else now aquarius as i was getting into your energy the universe wanted me to use this and look at the bottom of the deck, the number eight. Hijo de la chingada. The number eight. The universe is watching you. Very close. The universe wants you to control those emotions. And see, look, for some of you guys, it's been a long road on this spiritual journey. And your ancestors are saying, don't give up. For some of you guys, look, the universe is just right there. And some of you guys feel lonely. Some of you guys feel that, that nobody's hearing you out. Look, the throat chakra came out. Some of you guys need to heal this. The number five is great. Changes is coming. And it's about to be in the way you speak. For a lot of you guys, you're not realizing what this mission that you came here to overcome. And it was these curses, these, these, you just was a chosen one. Let's face it. And it comes with different for a lot of you guys, different missions. Some of you guys dealing with uh, rejection. Some of you guys with abandonment. Some of you guys with inner child wounds. But you have an important, special mission. And for some of you guys, it says refusing to see. Some of you guys are, I'm here just in that limbo. And the universe wants you to just trust that number two is very important. You could be a life path number two or born on the second. <sighs> Aquarius. I'm feeling this calmness. And you see all this blue right here? For some of you guys, you need to speak up. And you need to straighten these bonds. It's like your ancestors are waiting for you to meditate, to trust, to embrace your spiritual journey. And look, I keep hearing the universe. God tells me to keep saying this as far as spiritual journey. Embrace it. Say it more often. I love my spiritual journey. Some of you guys say it with authority. And man, when you say that with authority, no sabe que ser el diablo. The devil don't know what to do. It's almost like, damn, another one. Another one I lost. Because when you start to say, I love my fucking spiritual journey. And you being that with love, the enemy flees and can't touch you. And you guys are in this point. Some of you guys are like this. You have disappointment. In Aquarius, for a lot of you guys... Or maybe a few, maybe this may resonate. You feel that the universe was judging you because you went through these hardships. And some of you guys, of course, it is possible. It is possible you could have done something to contribute to the situation that you were dealing with. Some of you guys were dealing with somebody that was just poking the bear. And then you got out of character. But if you trust your spiritual journey, you'll understand and you start to look at it from a, high, from a higher perspective. You're going to realize like something had to happen to push you on because some of you guys, Aquarius, you were just, yeah, you had faith, but you were settling. <laughs> you were settling and you were just like, orale, dale pa adelante. And it's like, Aquarius, for some of you guys, you were feeling the pressure of people not, you were wanting validation from people. And this could have been your family. And it's like, you were refusing to see that the validation that you only should seek is from God, the universe. You don't need nobody else's validation. And some people try to control you. And in this card too, I'm getting this. This channeled right now for some of you guys. You just had somebody toxic that was just on top of you. It's like, shit, you couldn't even go take a dump. This particular person wanted to be in, you know, and for some of us, you know, shit, when you, with your love of your life, you, you're going to be there as the playing card, you know. But for some of you guys, this, this particular person just was on your ass. Like, what are you doing? Who are you talking to? And it was too a control tactic. It almost felt like... They were draining you. And it was causing you a lot of, a lot of 
for uh, this. I don't know who it's going to resonate, but resonate with. But it was causing you to question yourself. Is the way I'm seeing here is like, damn, man. And it's like some of you guys were refusing to see these red flags. Some of you guys jumped into a relationship. Let's get into this because they want me to use this hidden article, right? Or 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 article or something like that. But look, this card is catching my attention. Yeah, it says right here, are you truly following your heart? And maybe that's why you're feeling like this. Because for some of you guys, Aquarius, if this is about your spiritual journey, you're, you're thinking like, man, do I really want to go this route? And some of you guys were chosen to break these generational curses. And some of you guys don't believe you can, but... going to lead you into a good way, into a good path, major blessings. And it says right here, are you truly following your heart? And for some of you guys, it's just could be in career where you're not where you want to be. It says they want you to fail. Ah, okay. This bitter ex. So some of you guys were dealing, maybe you feel in the pressure that you're, okay, I get it. I get it. Aquarius, for some of you guys, you're on your spiritual journey. You've seen a lot of things being ripped from you. And for some of you guys, you're having a couple of doubts about why this particular person is probably succeeding. But it's all an illusion. Aquarius. Follow your heart. The universe is trying to direct you in a different direction. It's almost like you're about to come into powerful balance. Some of you guys have forgotten who God created you to be. <laughs> and I'm not laughing at you, but it's like you have, for some of you guys, <laughs> your person, I look for you everywhere. For your person is in this energy. And see how they're feeling? This, damn, I done lost Aquarius. Okay, so some this is a different story for some of you guys. I look for you everywhere. I want to feel that way again. But man, they're in this in in this energy. Forget what it says right here. They're in this energy like shit. I, some of some of you guys are dealing with somebody that that might have walked away from you anticipating or expecting is what I'm hearing that you were going to come back begging on your knees. Oh, Aquarius. Por favor, take me back. I love you. And when I say that, look, it says right here, I know I messed everything up and they know it. But Aquarius, you're having a hard time really seeing because maybe this particular person is really showing you like they're unbothered. Like maybe they got into a different relationship. And for some of you guys, yes. But in reality, it says, I hid who I really am from you. So yeah, you were dealing with something like that. And the universe wants you to what? To continue chasing his heart. There's something more. You're about to come into balance, Aquarius. And they're projecting your... In, it's, for some of you guys are impasse. You're feeling the energy of your past. People that are regretting, they counted you out. And you're feeling this energy. The universe is saying, protect it. There's a lot of jealousy behind you. Some of you guys, the universe has been teaching you how to trust your intuition. And that's why I keep hearing powerful balance. And it's almost like God gave you a certain intuition, a certain level of intuition, and maybe you wasn't really using it or you were just really avoiding it or not really... You weren't really trusting it. It says you came closer than anyone. And you felt like this is like, holy shit, this particular person, you might have over trusted. But you know what, Aquarius? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart. You know, one thing that it taught you or it's teaching you 
for some of you guys, you're learning about this because some of you guys are going to get out of this energy. I see this energy of you feeling down. Maybe you're feeling a little lonely, but hey. The universe says, I love you. Take it easy. And the universe just said, I love you. <laughs> of course, I'm not laughing at you. It's because your ancestors are saying, man, you're doing an amazing job. You don't even know it. You don't give yourself enough credit. And they're really cheering you on. And, and with you having this powerful intuition, you don't even realize how many people you're about to help. Even just with you being in a room, your energy is going to be so vibrant. For some of you guys, oh my God, you're avoiding talking and it's, it's, it's something that you need to speak the way you speak to them it's gonna it's gonna amaze you because it's almost like you're learning to walk by faith and not by sight so some of you guys look you're turning your head down and you're like all right guy wherever you want to send me and even though you're going in with that energy the universe is like you don't even realize what i'm about to give you but you're just kind of like okay whatever and it says right here sexual healing so some of you guys maybe are sexually frustrated Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so we're going to get into that. <laughs> yeah, it's coming. It says, keep doing good God's work. Good karma's coming your way. So some of you guys are about to get an amazing lover. So let's get into the tarot because I'm just hearing. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Uh, look, it's a tower moment. You want some of you guys have been telling God, like, when is love coming to me? Ya quiero un amor, I want a lover. <laughs> and you, some of you guys are sexual fuck, fuck, frustrated. Man, I can't even talk. And you're trying to balance this situation. And it's almost for some of you guys, you're in your energy and your balance. And you're, some of you guys just have this connection, this openness with God. And it's almost like you tell them, and I'm hearing like, God, universe, you know how you made me. And you made me a freak. Please bring me another freak that I can freak with, that I can heal with. <laughs> and you're manifesting this. And look, the cart's right here. It could be a Leo or, you know, that's your one seven. So maybe this is your Aquarius Venus and because that's love and 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 you're dealing with somebody with Leo Venus and it's like, God, the universe, I want to heal. And the universe is like, don't worry. I mean, and you've been, you've been wanting this. But Aquarius, you're not wanting to deal with just anybody. You willing to hold back. I know it's a pentacle, but look, you close your eyes and you have somebody in mind. And look, it could be a Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces or something that you don't know. Or maybe you don't, you do know. And it's like, for some of you guys, Aquarius, you've been take, you've been putting some notches on your belt, men or female. For a lot of you guys, but you, you don't want this in and out energy is what I'm hearing. You want something that's going to last forever when it comes. To, and you know what, Aquarius, I just keep hearing something about your sexual healing it's if, if you have a sexual appetite, you know, or, or just a desire for a lot of you, Aquarius, you, I'm hearing it. It's you manifesting a particular person. You you want somebody that's going to match your energy, that love, man, you guys. <laughs> and some of your ancestors are rolling their eyes. They're like, ay, mijita, mijito, este es muy caliente. Some of you guys, and then in translation in English, they're like, damn, child of mine. You guys are just muy caliente and real hot, you know, just. And some of your ancestors are laughing. They're like, yo, era así. Some of them, they were that way. And, you know, traditionally, and this is, this is going to hit for some of you guys. Some of you guys are in a relationship. And your ancestors are saying loud and clear, they were in un, um, unrequired love or well, they, they didn't reciprocate the same love when it came to the necessity. And they left, they felt felt, they felt left out when it came to that. And in their times, you know, it had to do with traditions and everything, but God, the universe created them with this appetite 
man or female. And it wasn't responded. And for a lot of them, they had to stay in within a traditional marriage. And some of you guys are dealing with ancestors that married, um, I guess, an arranged marriage. And some of you guys are breaking that. So if you guys are going through a divorce and you're not feeling that sexual energy that's not working, some of you guys might have married somebody, I'm hearing 10 years, 20 years older than you, and it's just not working out. It might have worked out in the beginning. Or it was something that you were too young to really see that, that it was... Some of you guys did it just to leave the house. Let's face it. That's what I'm hearing. And you're like, shit, I should have never left the house. And you know, their love wasn't there. And, and, and Aquarius, you're chasing love. You want that good love. And for some of you guys, this is how you're going to break a generational curse. Mm -hmm. You're learning to trust your intuition. And some of you guys, look, you're manifesting with the universe. And the universe is about to reward you. So some of you guys that are on the spiritual journey, you're just... Feeling unhappy is what I'm hearing. And you're like, when is this love coming in? It's around the corner. It's almost like the universe is prepping this particular person. And for some of you guys, this particular person I'm hearing is, is stubborn. Gene, God, could be a Cap, uh, Capricorn or Taurus. I don't know. And the universe is holding back your blessings. Because some of you guys may be dealing with people that don't deserve it. So the universe is like... Hold on, Aquarius. It's coming to you. Look, even the hand is right there. It's coming to you. You're going to be happy with the results that we have for you. And look, the same cards are coming out. Just trust. You're going to be in this energy. Have faith. That's what I'm here. Let's, let's shuffle. Let's get a little shuffle. Okay. So, <laughs> Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in the chart. I'm hearing big changes, baby. Put it in the comments. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in the chart. And you know what? Now, some of your the people that might have hurt you, and they want me to show you this, that might have left you out in the cold. For some of you guys, you have changed your energy. And it's almost reversed. Some of them are, are in this energy. They see God blessing you, rising you up, sending you in a different direction. For some of you guys, you had a group or a family that... Thought you, you know, once you left, you were going to come back. Mm -mm. Now they're in this energy and they see you, how God, the universe is blessing you. And even look, it's a page. And even if they talk shit, Aquarius, they're like, ah, it's a little bit. But in due time, look, it's going to grow in mucho amor. And for a lot of you guys, Aquarius, if you're dealing with somebody you left and you've been on this road and and maybe your partner might have got with somebody quick, maybe right away. And then you're wondering, like, this fucker or this, you know, they, they must have been doing this shit behind my back. No, they just were insecure. They needed a rebound. They got some, somebody quick. You chose to heal. You chose to take your spiritual journey, to do your inner work. Your particular person had too many insecurities. That's why you weren't clicking. For some of you guys, yeah. And they were jealous on how, how brave you were to take this spiritual journey. How you started to heal. For some of you guys, they were just so insecure on how freaky you were with them. They didn't understand. They were insecure, men or female. Mm-hmm. For a lot of them, they were jealous, man. That, I would have been having a ball. Aquarius, hit me up. Look at this. Some of you guys are in this hangman mode. And, and I see, look, there's a smile, there's happiness, and you're like, God, when are you going to release me? For a lot of you guys <laughs> who were betrayed by somebody... They saw you in this hermit mode. And see, there's not a lot to see right there. So they don't know what the hell you were up to. Is what I'm hearing. And you're dealing with somebody jealous, controlling. And the universe almost covered their eyes or sent you or redirected you or put them out of their view. And they felt. You weren't doing shit. But for a lot of you, Aquarius, if you're on 
beginning stages, let that shit go in the past. Charge it to the game is what I'm hearing. Nah, you, somebody has a... <laughs> Charge it to the game is what they're saying. Move forward. You have an important mission, a purpose. And for the ones that are on this spiritual journey and you found this particular purpose that the universe has already put in front of you, you're being protected. They can't see what you're doing. The universe wants you to be quiet. And some of you guys are just feeling the tension. I need somebody. But no, the universe has somebody that's going to match your energy that is also working on this purpose. The past person wanted to take from you. See, now, look, for a lot of you Aquarius, this particular person, you didn't even have pentacles in the bank or nothing saving. They were just taking your money. And who, Lord knows, I'm here. Lord knows where they were spending it. But now that you're in this phase, this new phase, this new chapter, big changes are coming. Look, this is you and the universe is hiding it, protecting this new project that you got working. And this is you. Look, you, you put a lot of work into this. Practice. And look, you're ready for the next one. And look, since you've been on your purpose or you will be on your purpose, ira nomás. Things are about to come to you easily. Mm -hmm. And the mountains might be something that's going to resonate for a few of you guys. Maybe you guys live in Colorado or Arizona or, or, or there, or maybe the universe pushed you out of sight from people. Some of you guys had to spend time in the wilderness, and that's how you started to connect with God, the universe, your archangels, your ancestors, and most importantly, with you, Emira. Now you're like, holy shit, I could get things come to me effortlessly, endlessly, and you manifest it. Look, I'm telling you, some of you guys are moving to the country. But look, happiness, money comes to you easily and effortlessly. And some of you guys are going to look back on this spiritual journey. And you're going to see like, holy shit, we came this far. And it was worth it. Because if you step into this energy of what? The Empress. Co-creating. Some of you guys, I'm telling you, some of you guys, you're about to meet somebody that's going to match your sexual energy. And it's going to make you so happy. You're about to be three or four bambinos. And you got this card right here. Two ten of cups. This could be, I see this a little bit darkness right here. It's almost like both of you guys have came and went through the dark night of the soul. Or just overcame all your challenges. And for some of you guys, I'm hearing this could be your totally opposite. It could be your 1-7, I'm hearing, in, in your Zodiac sign. Of course, this could be a Leo. But this is somebody that's just different. You guys are going to be complimenting each other. Mm -hmm. Some of you guys may have tattoos. And... Ahí está. All right, so... Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, comment, baby, if this is you, because I'm hearing, damn, the love of your life is coming. Some of you guys, your past, and I'm hearing you intimidate the hell out of them with this new version of yourself. Some of you guys were crying over this particular person, waiting for them to return, and they just would breadcrumb you, but the truth is, some of you guys want to know, why couldn't they commit? Because you called them out on some bullshit. And then they find out your intuition is high. And you, you might have told them something they did and they're fucking shitting bricks. So they're intimidated. They ain't going to come towards you. They feel that you're going to be revengeful and you did the opposite. And that's what's keeping you in receiving all your blessings. That's why the universe is saying, even though you may feel alone on this, you're not. Keep moving forward. This is double confirmation. Mamacita, mamacita, look, papacito, look. Con double confirmation. Because some of you guys, this journey has been about love. Your partnership, your power, the, the power couple coming in play. And this is going to put you in this energy. Your ancestors in the background, you might not know. See, it's black and white. They're celebrating. You're moving in the right direction. It says, so you want to be a badass. Show your heart to everyone. 
and this particular person, they tried to break your heart, that is intimidated, that you're going to seek revenge, they were a coward. Because for a lot of you guys, you guys would have gave them another chance. But they were a coward, man or fe uh, a female. They didn't want to assume responsibilities for the bullshit they did. And Aquarius, you're forgiving. You're very forgiving. You have an amazing heart. It says, show your heart to everyone. And you pass the test and not hardening in it, not lowering yourself to that energy. You protected it. And it says right here, it takes a lot of courage to be authentic in this world. Showing your heart doesn't mean you're soft all the time or that you're a hot mess or a doormat. It means you're showing up fully as yourself. You know what's weak as fuck? Living a fake ass life, trying to please others. And Aquarius, you're freaking bold. And for a lot of you guys, as you entered those phases where trials and tribulations, people were watching you. And look, you weren't happy going through it, but you did it. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, and comment, baby, if this is you. You have many blessings coming your way. Many. Put it in the comments. I am open to receive all my infinite blessings. So that's what I have for you, Infinite Tarot 888.